Roundtable to weigh in Republican Congressman Adam Kinziger from Illinois, Maryland Democratic Congressman Donna Edwards, Peter Baker from the New York Times, author of the new book Days of Fire, Bush and Cheney in the White House, and ABC's Matthew Dowd. And I want to start with you, Representative Kinzinger. Just react to what you heard from those Tea Party supporters. Those are some genuine emotions. Oh, sure. There's a lot of passion out there. We're a country $17 trillion in debt. And this has to stop. Um, my concern with what's going on, and we saw the interview with Ted Cruz and everything, is we're seeing conservatism, in essence, being redefined in this country. And it's not being redefined by Ted Cruz. It's being redefined by some of these outside groups, your Heritage Action, your Club for Growth, your Freedom Works. And you have a small group in Congress that has really become the Surrender Caucus. They've surrendered their voting card to the wishes of these outside groups. My voting card says Illinois 16th District. And that's who I represent. Let, let, let me ask both of you, and it's essentially what I asked Nancy Pelosi as well. Aren't you humiliated by this week? Aren't you ashamed? The country looks at Congress, all of you, and they're disgusted. Well, Are I you think... ashamed this week? Let's start with you on that. Yeah. I mean, this has been a bad, this has been a bad chapter from October 1st to the day we reopened. I mean, this is, you, you look at America's the most powerful country in the world, and that's something that I'm very proud to say. Um, but when you look at what's going on, I had a friend in Europe that just wrote me and he says, I don't understand what's happening. Are you guys going to stay powerful? Are you guys going to stay together? You've got to work this out. This has got to happen. It's time for us to come together. And I'm looking forward to it because the president said if we reopen government, he's coming to the negotiating table. So I'm excited to see him there. Is, is that possible, Representative Edwards? And, and we got the Wall Street Journal saying 60% of people.